we got the fire going. It's a weird interplay betwixt the two seasons of frozen cockstiff and flies everywards. First sunflower of the season. She's a mite and bit leggy. We got her trussed up. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. Beans, beans. We are going to take the tail end of the shin can speck. So Germans in the crowd tell me they slice this real thin, slap it between two chunks of that German wood-like bread, smathered in butter, and eat it as is. Don't bother cooking it. Of course, it's cured, and it's been cooked. You don't really need to, but I prefer what... What about the fatty, delicious, salty, smoky, crunchy bits? This we've set aside for to make beans. Diced and frying all the while. Chop an onion. Cut off the ends and the peel. Stuck it in the chicken bag. They eat everything. They turn trash into breakfast. Magical creatures that they is. More and more, we are mandated to save our scraps so that they can agglomerate them and truck them via diesel power to a facility for turning into something. Who knows? Some factory downtown. We got a factory right here in the backyard. Hence, they turn trash into breakfast. Better still, we don't have to keep that stinking fly-ridden bag of scraps around all week till the garbage man comes. After exhaustive and rigorous debate with my East Indian buddy, we come up with the consensus on the smell of white guy. I figured this twisted steel and sex appeal, he assures me it's caramelized onions and bacon. Get rid of the tough bits. Nobody wants them. Most importantly, we culled the bad beans from the Navy. Soaked them in water overnight. Get out of there. Fruit fly. They surround me. They're still stiff. We gotta cook them. As it happens, I'm no longer <laughs> persona non grata in the kitchen. As such, I'm allowed to use the fancy cut cut. What for bacon beans? These things, fantastic. Expensive, they're like the snap-on of the kitchen world. However, they're an heirloom. Last forever, gorgeous, a beauty, a bonnie, and a joy forever. Your daughter can wear these to her wedding. If in your persona non grata in yonder wife's kitchen, Go ahead and ask her what the hell she's doing with your fancy snap-on screwma driver. I've been looking for that. Cauldron bubble and cauldron royal. The beans are bubbling away. We're going to let them mijet on the simmer burner. Whole bag of these. You can buy cans, of course, pre-cooked, but a whole bag of these things. Half a kilo. Three bucks. And that's Kanaki Stan Kopex. Cheap like borscht. Right full of fiber and protein. Good for what ails ya. Now the drain strikes me as quite a bit of beans for half a kilo. Turns out it's almost a full key. But we gotta upsize our recipe. One cup strong maple syrup. In this case... More like two cups. Some effervescence, a little bit of top note. Mutard, the ginger ninja. Bacon. Baby doll made beef short ribs the other day. There's fattiger as hell, so as a special treat, we set aside some of that stock. Some adulterated beef tallow there. Stiff as a wedding prick. I'll make some candles out of that. Season some pans, but for making hamburgers. What we're looking for is that bottom strata. If we could ever get there. Mmm, high grading some of that brown gold. That'll add beautiful unami to these otherwise plain beans. Bake 300 for an hour. Mixing ever so gingerly now and again. Be ready for lunch.
Whilst we wait, a candle as a beef towel and a votive offering for the yummy yums what died for us to make these delicious beans. Godspeed, little moo cow. Godspeed, little oink oink. We wish you well on your journey. Into my belly. Starting to smell good in the old farmhouse. It's been quite a while. As Napoleon once famously intimated, the best laid battle plans never survive contact with the enemy. It's past noon now. It was too juicy. So I have to leave it in there for a little bit longer. Yeah, you see that? It's not stiffening up. Welcome to Smell-O-Vision. Mmm, you smell that dense fog. This is how sweaty you get at hot yoga. Ugh, sick. I got just the thing for your next class. Oh. Beans. Uh, today is not my day, fellas. She turned sideways and disappeared through the hedge. Bumble forking ever forward, I'm coming to the secret, and it occurs to me I forgot the garum, the rush, the Roman garum sauce. That is Worcestershire. Rotten fish sauce. You got to put a little bit of that in there for unami. But just prior to serving, a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar just gives it that little bit of bite. And I'm going to try something new. I saw these sitting in there. The Korean roasted sesame, black sesame seeds. Oh. And the best part about this whole thing is when you get kicked out of bed at midnight to go sleep on the couch. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.